Okay, in this video, what we want to do is set up the inventory service for Kubernetes. So we want to create the deployment as well as the service descriptor. And here on the screen, I've got the Docker Compose for that. You can see that we're going to be exposing port 8082. And then we've got the five environment variables that we need to set. And let's go ahead and start doing that right now. I'm going to toggle over to the command line and create that file using cube control. Okay, we want to go ahead and create the deployment definition first. So we're going to do cube control, create deployment. That is going to be inventory dash service. It's going to be from the image. That will be KBE, KBE Brewery Inventory Service. And this is going to be a drive run from the client. We want it to be formatted to YAML. And we are going to redirect that to inventory deployment. And I got a typo there. Not dry client, it's dry run. And that creates the file. And I'm going to toggle over to IntelliJ and we'll go ahead and edit that file. And we are working under script, so you can see that's a new file that's been added. And what I need to do is I need to add in environment properties. And this is going to take in a list of values. It's going to have a, a name and then also a value. And I'm going to pause the video and fill these in. I don't think you want to see me type in uh, six different values here. So I'm going to pause the video and, and then we'll do a quick code review of that. So just coming over to the Docker Compose file, you can see for the inventory service, I've got five properties, uh, data source, user, password, the Hibernate DDL, uh, data source URL, and host. So these values need to be defined. And to do that, we're setting up name value pair. So there's the name of the property as well as the value. And we've got the uh, five different properties defined. So that completes setting up the inventory deployment. Uh, this is how, how the inventory service will be deployed. And let's come back over to the command line. And we can say kubectl apply minus f inventory deployment, like so. And that is going to create the deployment or the pod. Now we need to create the service. So that will be kubectl create service. And we want cluster IP. And this is going to be inventory service. And this is going to expose port 8082. And again, we want dry run. And we want to output as YAML. Like so, and then we can also apply that. That creates that. Now, if I do a cube, CTL get all. You can see now we have the inventory running in a pod. That is our uh, deployment. And then uh, we also have a inventory service up and running, and we can see that the port 8082 has been exposed for our use. So let's toggle back over to IntelliJ. We created inventory deployment and inventory service, so the deployment, you can see here on the screen, we created that using the cube control command, and then we had to come in and edit to add in these environment properties. Inventory service itself, that was just created with the command uh, cube control, and this is the direct output of it. There's no modifications made to that file.